have somebody come forward and share their testimony and if you have any testimony of um, what you have received tonight just come forward or um, on another occasion so Phil why don't you share your testimony with us good evening everyone um, you probably don't know me. I'm one of the guys in the back doing all the filming with uh, other crew members. But I wanted to share something with you that happened to me last uh, Sunday with Pastor, uh, Pastor Steve. Uh, actually, before the service, the praise and worship team was, was uh, practicing, and I was pacing back and forth. I came up here to this, I'm going to call it a Holy Spirit hotspot, right here. Um, the power of God hit so hard it, it almost took my feet out. But what, what the real fun was, what Jesus said to me, prepare your hearts, I am coming quickly. And then I told Pastor Steve that back there, and he, he mentioned that to the service. But during Pastor Steve's service, he said, "Take who needs healing, take the cup and take the, the bread. And when we did it, I've had chronic low back pain. Um, I'm a chiropractor. My dad was a chiropractor, so I know what, what, what I have in my low back. It's a malformed L5 vertebrae. And I took communion. I, my back felt like someone took a baseball bat to it. When I took communion and the cup, my pain went from a 9.5 down to about a 1. And it's been that way for over a week. So, as they say, faith, you need corresponding action with your faith. Faith without works is dead. So, you have to also go and do your core exercises to maintain the strength of your low back. So I've been doing that as well. So I want to praise the Lord for my back pain is almost uh, zilch. And, you know, we've got to get this down a little bit, but uh, uh, all that all helps out. So, and as I was waiting to come up here, I keep hearing peripheral vascular disease. Someone's got something in their veins, in their legs. Whatever's being worked on is being healed. Um, not the heart. It's in the, it's in the veins and the legs. Okay, who, just stay up here, Phil, for a minute. So he was talking about the power of communion. How long had you had this back pain for that was, you said Sunday, it was like at a nine and a half, it went down to a one, but how many years had you been suffering with back pain? I know you said you had an L5 malformed vertebrae, but like, was it a, on a ongoing continuous basis daily since how long or how what how has it been uh, ever since i got old <laughs> older uh a long time but it has gotten worse recently as you get older you know but uh, uh last couple of weeks have been pretty bad so praise god so i don't know if phil's available but who has peripheral vascular disease in your legs in your veins, and it might be somebody online. Are you getting pain, swelling of your legs? Those are some of the symptoms, coldness of your feet. Okay, so Phil, are you able to pray? Or Okay, or Helen, can you go pray for that lady who has a peripheral vascular disease? Okay, and so Father, we just thank you, Lord. We release, Father, that word, the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. Anyone with back pain right now, this simple act, I've done it so many times, and people, God just duplicates as you say, I take it, I receive it, okay? So if you have back pain, give it to Jesus. He already bore it on the cross, and just say this simple phrase out of your mouth, I take, I receive healing in my back in Jesus' name, Amen. So, Father, we thank you for that. We declare the name of Jesus, Jesus' name. You are Lord over our backs, Lord. We thank you that even in old age, we can have good, strong, sturdy backs, Lord. We thank you, Lord, right now for that. 